Hey, g'day everyone, it's uh, Douglas here from Skybiz and uh, I just wanted to share this video with you all uh, regarding remote trigger, uh, triggering your cameras. We were in a situation recently where we had a, a couple of cameras set up and uh, uh, on one of the cameras we were fiddling with trying to press the buttons and they've got a cage in the way and you know you're trying to press the button you're looking at screens you've got it's a very busy screen uh, as you can see here we're pressing the other button down here trying to do that and and we're just trying to make sure that everything kind of records when we're doing our talking head interviews of course so you you know you've got two cameras you need to trigger them both together uh, you know so that we clap aboard them and uh, we can refer back to the scene afterwards unfortunately on one of these cameras uh, we actually switched it off when it was on uh, and then when we went to press the button again we actually ended up switching it off uh, thinking that it was on so we lost a, a couple of scenes there so we weren't really happy with that so a friend of mine uh, who's a little bit ahead of the game on me with this one Ignatius Quee from uh, Perth in uh, Western Australia uh, put me onto this so uh, kudos to you mate uh, and I was discussing with him uh, about the problem and he said look I've started using these uh, uh, these capture kits over here. They're the Har Harnell, uh, I believe that's the, uh, you can see from there, Harnell. Uh, I believe they're probably German or something like that, capture kits. Uh, and they make them for different cameras. They make them for uh, Panasonic, Canon, Nikon. Uh, this one's for the Olympus and the, Pan and the Pano, so obviously the Micro Four Thirds, uh, those two together. So what they basically do is they're a, uh, 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 a trigger, and a receiver. So what we've done now is we've fitted all of these receivers to all of our cameras. There we go. Uh, including our little baby backup emergency camera, the G85, uh, as well as the GH5 and uh, GH5S here. So now all of these uh, are wired up and they simply wire into the uh, ports here. This is into the remote port. Previously, we were using a LANK, report, uh, LANK trigger uh, and zoom, and we can still use that uh, depending on situations for individual cameras uh, with the Manfrotto one, but not very useful if you've got three cameras. So uh, here we can see uh, the uh, port for the G85 is on the side here. And of course we are back to the port uh, on the uh, GH5. So now all of these are connected. Now the beauty about this is if I want to switch each individual camera on, I just press the button and I can see on screen now that it's come off. I press this other button uh, and no other cameras are affected in doing this, all right? So this is specifically uh, a local uh, button just for one camera. There we go, we'll see it on again, uh, but nothing else is triggered. But because we have a remote control here, by simply pressing this button, here we go, by simply pressing this button, and I'll just show you now, everything is off. Everything is off, all the screens are off. So we can see here, all the screens, all the screens are off there. By simply pressing this button now, here at the top, bingo, recording, recording, recording and I'm going to simply just stop that again press the button at the top to stop stopped recording stopped recording stopped recording back on again let's see we'll do this one back on again and we can see recording 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 100% record and stop on all of our cameras. Now this is fantastic when we're doing talking head interviews uh, because it now means that I can look specifically for those uh, file sizes which are virtually all the same length now, whether it's a one minute length, a 60 second length, uh, two minute, 10 minute, whatever it is, three minutes, 12 seconds, I can be looking for those across all the three cameras. And again, just helps me identify that a little bit more quickly. It also means that on some cameras, you might press the, uh, press the record button and then forget to switch this one off. So now you've got the two frames, to the two scenes together. You know, one's three minutes long because you forgot to switch it off, the other one's only 30 seconds long. You have to cut all that footage out so it saves on uh, wasted uh, disk space on your SD card, all kinds of things. But this is the capture system that we've used. So we've used the timer kit, 
all right? Uh, the other benefits of that is that uh, you can set it up for timer capture, uh, but we've used a timer kit on this one. The other one that you can uh, buy, it looks like you've got two of these which are the sim similar. One's a trigger, one's a, uh, a receiver, but I prefer the timer kit with this button. Again, you just press it, switched it off now. You just press it, here we go, record, record, record. This is an absolutely fantastic setup and uh, we're very, very, very happy. The other good thing about it is that it takes just AA batteries. All the units take AA batteries, all of them. And this gives us the added benefit of being able to go out and buy batteries anywhere in the world, not have to worry about specialized batteries, not have to worry about charging lithium batteries that might be in the units if they are enclosed and all of a sudden they've gone dead. So uh, we are extremely happy and a big thank you to uh, Ignatius there uh, out in uh, Western Australia for helping us with this uh, problem that we had, which is now technically no longer a problem.